Hello everyone, welcome back to the Tarot Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix Immortals Phoenix Rising which is very recently released on Steam is having crashing, note launching, freezing and stuttering, black screen, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and all these kind of issue and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into it. So if you are for the first time, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification let me move to the workaround so the first and foremost simple step all you have to do is just have to do a restart on your pc for that just click over here on the icon go over here now go to restart after restarting try to play the game and you can see the differences so this is actually it's not going to work 100 percentage this is actually a possible workaround which you can try out and that might be helping you guys out Moving to the next one is all about, you have to do is so just have to allow the game exe to the window security. That means allow the game exe file to the window security. For that you just have to follow the instruction. So what you have to do is just have to go over here in the search. So go over here in the search. Now from here go to control panel. Over here you have to navigate to windows defender firewall. Now from here go to allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall. Now from here, from here you have to check whether the game is already available. That is Immortal is already available. So we have to scroll down and keep on scrolling down. And you have to see Immortal Phoenix Rising is already added. And if it is added, make sure that under the private and public, both these things should be checked. It should not be unchecked, they should be checked. Once after that, if it is not available there, then we just have to move to the next one. Next one is all about you have to add it manually. So how to add it? So you have to click on hello another app. Now go to browse. Now from here, you just have to go to this PC where the game is installed. So over here by default, the game used to get downloaded and installed on Steam from the Steam to local to C. So you just have to click on local to C. Now scroll down and navigate to program file x86. Scroll down once again and navigate to Steam folder. Now from here, scroll down and navigate to Steam apps. Now go to common, from here you have to go to immortal, okay, the game folder that is immortal phoenix rising. Now from here go to scroll down and navigate to the .exe, the main folder you have to navigate to the main uh, phoenix rising, the application you have to see this, just go to this. If I click on add, I'll be getting an error like this because it is already added, that is why I'm getting the error. Make sure that both the thing, that the private and public should be checked. Once it is done, just close this. Go back to the game try to play it if it's not working then we just have to move to the next one next one is all about you have to install graphics card manually for that i'll be providing link in the description uh, you don't have to worry i'll be providing link in the description by default i forgot to add it so uh, just wait okay so these are the link for nvidia for amd and even microsoft visual c plus plus so i'll be providing the link so now you will be taken to this. So uh, basically there are uh, available for NVIDIA, for AMD. The NVIDIA users when they click on this, they'll be getting an option like this. Now from here, click on drivers. Over here in the drivers, as you can see, this is where we have to give few details. That is the first one, you have to give product type. As you can see, the product type, we have few options like this. You have to give GeForce, which is minus GeForce. So that's why I'm giving this. You can do the same. Moving to the next one is product series that is Geoforce RTX 40 series. You have to select the respective one. Go for the next one that is product NVIDIA Geoforce RTX 4090. We have two options. In my case that is 4090. So now is next one is operating system that is Windows 11. So I have to select Windows 11 because I am using Windows 11. So you if you are on Windows 10 select the respective one. If you are on Windows 11 respect, uh, select the respective one. And you have to give everything go for start search. Now it will be taken to another page where you can see the latest version that is 527.576 is the latest version and the release date is 2022 12 8 and operating system is available for both and it is around 813.49 MB just download this and if you're on the AMD users just go for graphics select everything from here you can select everything and go for the submit. Once you're done with it, you'll be getting two options, Windows 11 64-bit, Windows 10 64-bit. Download the first one for Windows 11. Download the second one for Windows 11, uh, 10 as well. 
so you can download this this is what you have to do okay so for the G uh, geoforce users they just have to download this and you'll be getting a .exe just install it the .exe you can install it after installing it it is going to work as well you have to just install the respective one and this is what you have to do moving to the next one is just do a restart after installing a graphics card manually then try to play the game and you will be able to see the differences moving to the next one is all about you have to install microsoft visual c plus plus we have to install this so i'll be providing a link in the description where you can uh, definitely will be navigate to this here i think that is a mistake so you just have to go to this link now from here when you go for this link you can download the respective one that is x64 x86 arm 64 these are available things to download so first you need you should know which one is yours actually for that you just have to go to over here in settings go to system at the top now scroll down and navigate to about now from here you can see that is system type and that is mine is 64 bit operating system so you should be knowing this once done with this just go back download this so install the .exe do a restart then try to play the game if your uh, laptop or pc is 86 then you just have to download this one this is what you have to do okay and after this try with this most probably when you update graphics card manually as well as when you install microsoft visual c++ this is definitely going to work for you and this is what you have to do moving to the next one is all about you have to run the game on dedicated graphics card for that what you have to do is you just have to go over here in the search now from here go to graphics setting so as you can see here i have already added many games simultaneously you have to do the same so you just have to click on browse now from here go to local to see now from here scroll down and navigate to where the game is installed that is program file x86 scroll down and navigate to steam now from here go to steam apps now from here go to common now select immortal phoenix rising scroll down and navigate to the particular application folder select this and add it once you are add with this what you have to do is you just have to you just have to change this okay once you successfully added so not this so we have to go for immortal select this one and click on option and by default this will be in let windows decide you have to change this to high performance and go for save and close everything then try to launch the game you can see the differences moving to the next one is all about you have to run the game as an administrator for that you have to go to steam from here it is very easily navigating to steam uh, to where the installation folder from steam for that's why i'm selecting this right click go to properties go to local file click on browse now from here this is where the game is installed as you can see this pc local to c program file 86 steam steam apps common immortal phoenix rising so scroll down now from here you have to select over here if you scroll down you will be able to select it okay now as you can see uh, okay you can select the respective folder now from here you just have to select and right click and go to properties now from here go to compatibility click on run this program as an administrator go for apply go for ok then try to play the game and also you can try with one more step that is all about the next step is launch the game from installation folder right now when you are trying to play the game from steam we are actually not launching the game from installation folder but we are actually launching the game from steam so here i am recommending that you can launch the game from the installation folder so from here just open the game and you can see the differences so this is also a possible workaround and that has worked for many of the users so you can try this also that is also worked for many users so these are the thing moving to the next step is all about what you have to do is you just have to do is just have to uh, disable steam overlay and you have to close every overclocking application for that you just have to go to the steam and right click and go to properties now go to local file sorry you have to go to over here general under general you will be as you can see there is an option enable the steam overlay so you have to disable this this is very important so disabling means that is you are disabling the steam overlay and this is very important step moving to the next one is all about you have to close every overclocking application so this is going to take a bit of time because some apps is draining out your lot of performance like discord you know antivirus etc 
so what you have to do is you just have to right click on the start now just go to task manager and from here it is very widely visible as you can see right now adobe premium pro which i'm using right now now apart from that as you can see google chrome screen recorder stream etc is running in my background but apart from that the ugliest of factors many things apart from that, there are 92 apps just running in my background they all are running out my performance especially apps like discord gaming services now uh, the lg hub etc all these things so what you have to do is just have to end the task you just have to do is just have to end the task for everything like this do it like this so it's going to take a little bit of time so you have to end the task for everything you can do this one by one and once it is successfully done what you have to do is just have to restart then try to launch the game and you can see the differences if it's not working then we just have to move to the next one that is all about perform clean boot for that just go over here in the search now from here you have to go for system configuration go to services and here you will be getting an option to disable all click on disable all go for hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for ok so now you get a message it is asking exit without restart and restart so what you have to do is you have to restart it but here i am in the middle of video so i am exiting without restart but you have to restart it after restarting try to play the game and you can see differences moving to the next one is all about you have to verify integrity of game file for that you just have to select this right click and go to properties go to local file click on verify integrity of game file so this is going to take a little bit of time so this is actually going to fix the issue because if any files are missed if any files are corrupted all these kind of issues will be completely fixed by this step so you should not be neglecting this is very important so uh, you have to click on this and wait for entire process to get completed and moving to the next step is all about you have to update your windows just go over here in the search go to settings now from here you have to go to windows update now from here you have to update the windows to the latest version because uh, running a game like Immortal Phoenix which is around 56, 58 GB or something which is running on high graphics the OS should be up to date or else we'll be having a lot of trouble so we have to update it to the latest version moving to the next one is all about we have to do is we just have to disconnect everything for example if you're connected with multiple monitors you have to disconnect everything and uh, if you are already connected with controllers and everything you should be ejecting it completely so before playing the game eject it everythingly everything that is uh, you know from the multiple monitors and if any uh, usb ports are filled with logitech g hub you have to uh, eject it and uh, for example if any controllers are connected eject it everything and make sure the usb ports are completely free then once you are successfully done with this just try to launch the game after launch the game you can connect it back that you wanted to play with a controller just launch the game then connect the it and try to play the game moving to the next one is all about you have to do is just have to try few options giving launch up a uh, few commands in the launch option for that just have to right click and go to properties now from here over here under launch option you have give you can give the command that is minus dx 11 we can try with this if it's not working change with 12 and you can try to play the game moving to the next one is all about what you have to do is just have to do is you just have to increase virtual memory because this particular step has worked for many of the users for that you just have to go over here in the search you have to search for view advanced system setting now from here you have to go to add settings now go to advanced once again go for change make sure under virtual memory automatically manage paging file size should be unchecked this should not be checked you have to uncheck this and only you have to select the local disk where the game is installed in my case i'm having only one drive so uh, the game is installed on c so that's why i'm selecting this if you are installing on any other thing you have to do the same and this is what you have to do and once it is done just go forward over here custom size we have to give the value initial size and maximum size so initial size is always 1.5 times total ram and maximum size is always three times the total ram so over here we need a calculator to calculate calculations so that is you have to go over here okay so we have to do the calculation that is 32 gb is my ram and you have to multiply the 1024 so that is 32768 i have to multiply it with 1.5 so that is 49152 that is my ram so you have to paste it moving to the next one is all about we have to do the conversion same that is 32 gb into 1024 into 3 that is maximum size is always three times the total ram so copy this 
and paste it after that you have to go for uh, apply then try to restart and try to play the game and you can see the differences and this is what you have to do this is about how to fix immortal phoenix rising is crashing it's not launching freezing and stuttering second loading screen low fps drop and all these kind of issues and how you can fix this up and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye